Ben was born on November 29th, right? 1998. When he was two and a half, he was diagnosed with no autism. Sad. No, Jenny. When no, ho, ho. she's not home right now. Hi. When uh, he was five and a half, we started learning how to go to mass. So I started taking him to church every Sunday. And at first, what he liked most was dipping his finger in the holy water so he could make the sign of the cross. That was your favorite oh, thing. Oh, go. OK. And then he likes putting the envelope in the collection basket. And now he likes shaking people's hands at church. Want to oh. do it? No? OK. I wanted him to understand and to learn how to participate in the Mass before he made his first Eucharist. As Ben got older, he would look forward to going to Mass every Sunday, here at St. Joseph's Church in Maplewood, New Jersey, where Father Jim Worth is the pastor. Ben just has a, a personality that's full of joy, and clearly um, I knew that he had special needs, but it was more of his personality that shined through. I think every single parishioner is in love with Ben, and it's been difficult for him because he's um, a man of routine. We go to church every Sunday, every opportunity. <laughs> no, I say that. And he'll tell me on a Saturday, nine o'clock Sunday. So we know. No, so I say he, that. It's a community of people that have welcomed him and embraced him. And the thing that Ben misses the most about not being at church is the music and singing. Yeah, when he was younger, he would clap all the time at the end of the songs, but he knows not to do that now. So, but um, he's got his favorite songs. Right, he gets very happy when Father Jim says any of those. Let us build a house where love can dwell And all can safely live A place where saints and sinners tell How hearts learn to forgive Father Jim is a talented musician and singer who once a month on a Tuesday would put on a mini concert called a solace and Ben loved them, never missing them. What night did he do it on usually? That's right, on Tuesdays. We're hoping he'll do another one in two Tuesdays, Ben says. So every single month he was used to coming to the church, rain or shine, his mother would take him, so it was a routine for him. And I, had, I, I felt that his routine was completely uprooted. So one of my goals was to give him something that was familiar to him. Ben Hack is one of our parishioners who comes to the nine o'clock mass every week. You Knowing that Ben was really missing these special nights, Father Jim decided to broadcast a special solace on the parish website, which he called Ben Solace. He loves music and he loves the solaces, so... During the hour-long show, Father Jim performed only music Ben liked, including his favorite song, All Are Welcome. One of his uh, favorite songs is All Are Welcome, which is what I'll start with. Whether or not he understands the full concept of that song, that whole piece is basically telling everyone inside this church that there's not a single person here that shouldn't be here. So sit back and relax everyone as we um, begin our Ben's solace. Let us build a house where one can dwell and all can see. Ben was thrilled to hear his name on the video and hear his favorite songs. And on the Tuesday nights when the solace would normally be on in the church, his mother plays the concert for him again. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Nice. Two weeks. In two weeks? Yes. Will he have another solace concert uh, for you? Uh, what time? Uh, okay. Seven o'clock. You're looking forward to that? Nice. Build of hopes and dreams and Rock of faith and vault of grace Hear the love of Christ Shall end divisions All are welcome All are welcome All are welcome Can I get all in? Hey Ben? Ben, thank you. No, hi Sam. It was nice meeting you. Thanks. Thanks. That's awesome, is it? 
Let us build a house where all are named, their songs and visions heard, and loved and treasured, taught and claimed as words within the word, built of tears and cries. They are the true messengers of Jesus because they're giving the message not by some intellectual word, they're giving it by their example. So they're really leading with their hearts and not their minds. Their hearts go before them. It lets us understand that, yeah, we have gifts, but we also have difficulties. It makes a community more honest. In this place.